Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny Godly of The Godly Glow Makeover Show, honey, vocals. You don't know anything about that. So today I basically wanted to show and tell you guys what you can be expecting from The Godly Glow Makeover Show channel here on YouTube. First of all, I am a self-taught makeup artist. I've been doing makeup videos here on YouTube for nearly 11 years. I have done every single kind of makeup look, makeup tutorial, makeup review, product review, product demo that you could ever really imagine, honestly. And I'm tired of doing makeup on myself. And I'm an 80s baby, born in the late 80s. I grew up in the early 90s. And in the 90s, we lived and we died for a makeover show, honey. What not to wear? How do I look? Ambush makeover. Um, I mean, queer eye for the straight guy. How to look 10 years younger, honey. We love a makeover show. We miss makeover shows. I crave makeover shows. I really, really do. Not only am I tired of doing makeup on myself, I'm tired of seeing makeup on myself. So that brings me to the Godly Glow Makeover Show Takes Miami. My first step in my multi-city tour will be Miami because I have a couple of friends out there and they were like, come out here, girl. Let's do some makeovers. Let's get some content going. Let's do some awesome things. Let's have some fun. So I will be meeting you guys in Miami from the 3rd until the 10th of September and I'm extremely excited. So in this first video, I wanted to show you guys what's going to be in my first ever makeover over kit. This is definitely not all of the products that I'm bringing. Well, this is all the products that I'm bringing, but it's not all the products I'll have. I have a lot of products being shipped over to where I'll be staying in Miami. And I wanted to show you guys what exactly you guys can expect. So I wanted to show you some of the things that I'll be using um, along with some new items, some old items, just a whole bunch of different things I'm going to be bringing with me. Let's go ahead and get into this really quick. First of all, these are some of my primers and moisturizers. As you can see, we have a few of my favorite brands and then a couple of new things. I definitely have to bring my matte primer from Makeup Forever and my LA Girl Pro uh, Prep HD primer. I absolutely love the texture of those. And then, of course, I have the great Smashbox Photo Finish as well as their Photo Finish Color Correction. And then I also had to bring the Makeup Forever Step 1 Nourishing Primer. I think this is really, really great for people who need just a little bit of hydration, a little bit of nourishment for their skin. And then I also have a new product here from Farsali. And this is called the Facetune Blur. This is something very new to me. I actually just got this today. I can't wait to use it. And then right next to it, you see the Bye Bye Pores or you see It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Serum. And I'm thinking they may be somewhat similar. The texture seems a little bit similar to me, so I'm excited for that. Right here, I have a few e.l.f. brushes that I will be bringing with me. I love to do foundation with a stippling brush. Aside from a good, br a good buffing brush, a good stippling is something that I love. Here are all of the liners I'll be bringing. We have NARS, Urban Decay, LA Girl, Makeup Forever, Bare Minerals, um, and also a couple of Smashbox liners as well. This is my everyday makeup kit, things that I'll be using on my face, but I also have my, um, my Tarte Cosmetic Shape Tape Powder, which is kind of new. I've never used this on my main channel. And then I also have my NYX powder. I have my Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder. I absolutely love this Bare Minerals powder. This is going to be great for all skin tones as a highlighter, as a finishing powder. This Tarte Shape Tape Powder is absolutely insane. It's in translucent deep. It is so, so matte. I am really looking forward to using that. A lot of the makeup that I'm bringing is palletized. So I do have my Anastasia Pro brow palette which is going to be great for a multitude of people as well as my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. I have a couple of products that I can use for highlighter. I have a few blush palettes. I'm definitely going to bring this one. I think that this is going to be great universally. Um, I have lots of inexpensive eyelashes that I will be using. Some very very naturals some kind of mink inspired eyelashes. These are really, really great for everyday soft makeup looks. 
I have a couple of mink eyelashes that are going to be great for more glam looks and different things like that. I have a fresh tube of Duo. These are some wispies that I'm going to be using. I've also bought a couple of eyeshadow palettes. Here are some of the eyeshadow palettes that I decided to bring. I definitely had to bring this new palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Camel palette, which absolutely, positively is going to get so much use. I also have the Mini Sunset palette, which is going to get a lot of play as well. A blush palette from La Femme Makeup. I've had this blush for a while. I really, really love the colors, the pigmentation, the price. Such a good little palette to have. And they're in a Nixie eyeshadow palette. I have a couple of Huda eyeshadow palettes that I'm really excited to use. I've used a few of those before. They have great pigmentation. Here go a few more blushes. These are also La Femme. These are going to be great. Um, some of these are more shimmery and a little bit a little lighter. I had to go ahead. I had to go ahead and bring the Smashbox palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of their newer palettes. I never got to use it before, but it's going to be great. So I went ahead and created two little lip palettes using some pill holders. All of the lipsticks in these palettes are actually from Smashbox, the legendary collection, and I have the names on the backs. So when I do the makeovers, I know what colors I'm using. This is great for travel. It saves a lot of space. I will be using my Graftobian palettes to do foundation and concealer. I have quite a few of these. Definitely going to bring my Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. I have a Graftobian Cream Blush Palette, which I'm going to be bringing. I also have a few other concealer and color correction palettes from Graftobian. For my powders, I'll be using palette as well as loose powder. These are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are, their, these are her contour um, kits, which I really, really love. They're really, really convenient. These are another couple of blush palettes. These are from Sleek. If you guys are not familiar with these, you definitely need to check them out. Not only are they really low priced, but they're based in the UK and now available in the States. And they are really, really people of color friendly, very pigmented, and of course inexpensive. One of my favorite words. Um, as you can see, aside from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I do have Derma Blend and NYX. I have Graftobian. I have a couple more Sasha palettes to do foundation with. This is where some of my makeup brushes are. I'm bringing my complete Smashbox makeup brush kit as well as my NYX brush kit. I'm also bringing some brushes from Moda, Royal and Light Nickel. I am bringing a couple of brush cleaners that I like to sit on my arm so I can go in between brushes on one client. I have a couple of Il Maquillage lip palettes that I'm going to bring with me. I am bringing one of my favorite finishing powders and it's It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This one is the Illumination version. I'm toying with the idea of bringing my Bye Bye Pores bronzer, but I love their powders. I'm also going in, I'm bringing Ambient Light. This is a powder from Hourglass. This is going to be beautiful to kind of take away the look of shine and pores and also go ahead and give the face a little bit of light. I love their powders. Other random things I have are tweezers, eyelash curlers, sharpeners. I have eyelash glue. I have a little mixing ring that I got from Farsali, as you can see right here. I have waterproof stuff for gel, for um, eyebrows. I have these dish towels so I can wipe my towels off. Some tape, like I said, hand sanitizer, all my pencils, powders, creams, everything, baby wipes, makeup remover, eye pencils. Just a heap of stuff. I'm actually going to pack up all this stuff and I look forward to meeting you in Miami. Yes, guys, I've been running 
I've been running around like a chicken with her head cut off. I have a lot of content already for this channel. I wanted to go out to Miami and kind of celebrate the first of this new channel, meet some new subscribers. After Miami, I'm going to New York, then I'm going to Texas, I'm going to Chicago. Um, not in that specific order. I'm not really sure how I'm going to organize things, but if you're watching this and you want to be a part of my makeover series, if you want to collaborate with me, if you want to help me film, if you want to be a model, if you feel like you have something that you could add to the godly glow makeover show then go ahead and contact me I will have information in the bottom bar I didn't want to go ahead and just throw an episode at you guys I want you guys to know what's going on I want you to know that I want you to be a part of it and that this is going to be a tour that's happening first stop Miami and I'm really excited and I'm gonna thank you guys for subscribing to my new channel I'm sorry I look so busted but I'm leaving I'm boarding my plane in a few hours and I look forward to meeting all of you guys in Miami who I'm going to be seeing on this on this stop definitely going to be exciting we're gonna turn up honey we're gonna get our makeup done we are going to chill we are gonna do everything you guys and i will see you soon